Hi guys, this is Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I have something super exciting. Something I'm really excited to show you. Um, it's the addition of droplets in Core Edition 9.3. And this will work in Pro and Assembly 9.3 as well. But I'm gonna show you something that I think really makes this super powerful. Um, we're gonna be adding develop module presets to Darkroom Core Edition. So a lot of you don't know that I'm a huge, huge fan of Adobe Lightroom. And that's where I do a lot of my work uh, for photography. And Lightroom and Darkroom always kind of did similar things. One did some things better and the other did Darkroom handles printing way better than Lightroom. But Lightroom has those develop module presets, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mimic those using a droplet and uh, Adobe Camera Raw uh, filters. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. You can see there's a lot going on on my screen and that's just because I want to be as transparent as possible. I'll show you how it's all working. So I have um, my DSLR here, but I don't have a subject. So I'm going to be using a hot folder camera, but it'd work the same way if you had a tethered camera. Um, but instead, I'm going to just be dropping some nice pictures into my hot folder as if it was captured uh, directly with a tethered camera. So that's what this folder is. You can see it's a hot folder camera. Nothing too exciting about that. It's been in a while, but if you don't know about it, it's awesome. Uh, that's actually how I use my wireless camera is a hot folder camera. So um, we are going to drop images into here and then they're going to come into darkroom and then they're going to go to Photoshop process, come back to darkroom and then print. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So first we're going to start off by creating a template. And typically I would say, all right, let's see, four by six, uh, droplet, demo, vert. It's a good idea to be, um, descriptive with your descriptions. Next, we're gonna add a photo. And in that photo, we're gonna apply a color effect and select droplet. And I got a few here. Uh, let's uh, select dev2. And click OK. That's a pretty basic template, nothing too exciting other than the droplet. I didn't want to add too much in it because it takes away from how just how cool this is. So we'll go ahead and save it as a new border. And uh, it's a good idea to save it in the correct location. So um, templates, my templates. And that's just so it matches up with my uh, my structure that I have here. So template with a droplet as a effect or as a, let's go back just so I'm telling you correct, um, apply color effect. So that's how we're applying the droplet. Next, we're gonna go back to our capture options and we have our hot folder camera. Uh, we're gonna click on auto print. Um, after each photo is captured, I want it to print a uh, four by six. I double click on this, and now this is what associates that template. There's my template that has the droplet in it. So now And um, what I'm going to show you is we're just going to um, I'm going to just copy one of these images and just so you can see how how this is actually working. 
So because it's not actually going through the hot folder camera, um, it's not going to apply. But if we go to our uh, workshop, select B for the border, select my template, you'll see that it's going to start processing in Photoshop and then come right back to Darkroom. It'll take just a moment for it to process. The faster your computer is, the faster this goes. And there is that effect. So um, the uh, it's all controlled by the template because we are using, let's go ahead and turn that off and let's see what happens whenever we grab this image and drag it into the hot folder. Darkroom should grab it, send it to Photoshop. edit it, send it back to Darkroom because it's a border now. So it's now sending the image back to Darkroom. It's going to grab that file that's been updated and now send it to the printer. Here's that image with that color effect applied. And how we did this in Photoshop, we'll just jump into Photoshop real quick. I don't do Photoshop uh, classes anymore, but how it works is, um, let's pull an image in here. If we go to filter and use camera raw filter, that's what you would use to create your action and then turn your action into a droplet. Uh, but if you look right here, you have all your normal develop module uh, options that you would typically find in Lightroom in Photoshop. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.